destination is on the left. And that's the home of Casey Jones. There's the little historic marker. Casey Jones Museum in Village Tomlin. I wanted to take a few shots in honor of my husband, who's a huge train fanatic. Most of the town was built in 1906. It was built as a staging point for L L the l &M Railroad. All right, John. Now I just have to get back to Casey Jones. There's this whole village area in Jackson that's devoted to him, so see some shots. And visitor center. Casey Jones stayed at the helm of old 32 engine, even after he told his fireman to jump and managed to save all the passengers on the train. The other train was not supposed to be on the tracks on that faithful night of April 30, 1900. Casey Jones didn't drive this train, but it was put here for educational purposes. American Family Radio for West Tennessee, Judge Milton Brown was from the most generous and historic gift, Mr. and Mrs. Edward Smith and family of Cincinnati, Ohio to the American Family Association. The Pullman Gulfmobile, Gulfmobile and Ohio, Judge Milton Brown car. And that's the home of Casey Jones. There's the little historic marker. Part of the Casey Jones village. So many shops, so few dollars. This is one of the other exhibits at the Casey Jones Museum in Jackson. Teeth real foot and laughing eyes. And the original cost was $2,100, but that was about 1954, 1955, they're saying. Here's another exhibit. Hello, you two. <laughs> We found the perfect house for us, right? It's just kind of small, maybe a little used, but hey, little spiffing up, a moon in the door. What do you think, Tomlin? You're posed and ready. Okay, how about down? The seat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go I've got to see about buying some postcards or something. Wow, the old fashioned mailbox. Mind your own biscuits and life will be gravy, words to live by. The store has a lot of interesting things. It also has the candy display with various types of candy of the old fashioned varieties. They also have the jams and jellies. Cheer wine, one of the staple drinks of the South. Lots of jewelry if you're looking for a gift or something for yourself. And a nod to Ellis Presley, king of rock and roll. The ice cream parlor and soda shop, it was named by USA Today as one of the top 50 in the U.S. I'm surprised you guys were open. Thank you. We just made it at seven. Instead of ice cream, we got some candy for the road. Isn't this cute? I think it's Tomlin approved. Yeah, we're at Casey Jones Village and Museum. Oh, they've got a teaching garden. How cool. The garden doesn't just teach about vegetables, but would have been a staple in 1900, the era of Casey Jones. Biography.com says that the night Casey was pulled off the train, he was still holding the whistle and brake in his hand as he scrambled to save lives. This tribute to Casey Jones is found on I-40, exit 80A near Jackson, Tennessee. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because there's lots more coming on our journey to Alaska.